When the girl at the detention center asks you again, why we gotta write these damn poems anyways? Fold back the army knife of your tongue. This is not a place to create more bruises. Teaching creative writing is like convincing skin to graft itself after being wounded. So we should not teach and harm. They must be mutually exclusive. The Poetics has a long story. <laughs> I technically began writing it in 2012 when I was an eighth grade English teacher in Maryland. Remember, these are black and brown girls in America. And I had students who would ask me, you know, we never see any stories with us in them. My students were 90% Latino. And I realized that all these stories I had been telling in class and these poems I had been writing didn't necessarily end up on their bookshelves. There is hurt here, inherited or otherwise, and trauma is a tapeworm growing in the gut until it gets so big you have to reach into your throat and pull it out from between your smile. Remember, teaching is not community service. Mm. And so I began writing the Poet X almost as a response to what my students were asking for, but I didn't really finish it until 2016. And I wrote a couple of other manuscripts between that and realized that the story I most needed to tell was about finding your own voice. Remember, teaching is not an automatic pass to calling yourself an activist. Remember, you are not here to save lives. We are all working on our own mosaic of aches. So when the girl at the detention center asks you again, why we gotta write these damn poems anyways? Tell her, we write to remind ourselves we are still here and that we can still heal. Uh, I get really nervous before show, so I, I can't wear any heels on stage because my legs will shake. I can't even hold paper. That's actually why I memorized my poems when I first started because I would get so nervous I couldn't read them. And so even though I get that nervous today, I have figured out tricks to look real sure on stage. Mommy says, there be no clean in men's hands. Even when the dirt has been scrubbed from beneath nails, when the soap set from them suspends in the air, there be sins there, girl. Their washed hands know how to make a dish rag from your spine. They will wring your neck. Don't look for pristine handling when men use your tears for pine saw. They'll mop the floor with your pride. There be no clean there, girl. I began writing poetry when I was about eight years old. And I would say that my background probably went even prior to how, before I knew how to write. Their fingers were made to scratch dirt, to find it in the best of things. Make your heart a brillo pad, brittle and steel. Don't be no damn sponge. Their fingers don't know how to squeeze nicely, nightly. If you imagine men's kisses, soft touches, a caress. Remember Adam was made from clay that stains the hand. Remember that Eve was easily tempted but I really started performing around like 12 and I wanted to be a rapper. So I had a dead set I was gonna be a hip hop star and that didn't work out too well. And so I found slam poetry instead. So I've been performing and writing since before I was in my teens and I've just kept doing it. I think storytelling is one of the most amazing things humans have created. My mouth will not write you a white flag. It will never be a Bible verse. My mouth cannot be shaped into the apology you say both you and God deserve. And you want to make it seem like it's my mouth's entire fault because it was hungry and silent. But what about your mouth? How your lips are staples that pierce me quick and hard. And the words I never say are better left on my tongue since they only would have slammed against the closed door of your back. Your silence furnishes a dark house but even at the risk of burning, the mouth always seeks the light. I want readers to find a story that feels familiar. They know these characters. They know what it's like to have your first crush. They know what it's like to turn to music for solace. They know what it's like to write down ideas and not know if they're very good. And I want readers also to, to hear a voice they've never heard, right? So this idea of familiarity, but also Wow, I didn't know that that was something you could write. And I think that that kind of line is what I most want readers to find, that their voice, as unique as it is, is so important to be heard. But that also, we're not that different. 
that our stories may be set in different cities, may be from different cultures, but that ultimately we have a lot that unites us.